So you're bringing in roughly $543 million into cash through this deal onto Solid Power's books. How will that enable you to carry out this ambitious strategy over the coming years? Yeah, well, that's what's so exciting about today is uh, that capital that comes onto our balance sheet fully funds our business model, meaning gets us to uh, a revenue-sustaining future. So we're incredibly excited about, about what's occurring today. So let's talk a little bit about the technology itself, because we're talking about solid-state batteries. It's a disruptive charging capability to the traditional lithium-ion EV industry. What is that capability, and how are you able to produce it at scale? Yep. No, great question. So in a nutshell, the value proposition for what we're doing, 100% solid state batteries, is really addressing what we believe to be the two primary pain points around electric vehicles, which is uh, range and cost. Um, and in effect, the way solid state batteries address that is by dramatically increasing the energy uh, over today's lithium ion batteries and dramatically increasing the, the safety. And you're partnering with SK Innovation for that manufacturing capability. Um, you're projecting $1 billion in sales by 2027. I mean, it's a long runway to get there. So what are the milestones or phases that investors need to be paying attention to for this to actually be pulled off in that time frame? Absolutely, yeah. So the, the, the lengthy process is really related to the extensive uh, vehicle uh, integration uh, uh, efforts that need to occur over the next several years. And so really the big milestones for us is tracking us a as we go through that. Um, you know, apologies for using some industry jargon, but for us it's about kicking off a sample validation phase uh, early next year uh, and then successfully concluding a B sample validation phase by uh, early 2024. So for us it's really going through that industry standard vehicle uh, qualification process. Um, but, Doug, what happens between 2026 and 27? And I mention that because your projections have you at about $132 million in revenue in 26, but almost 10 times that in 27, not to mention going from negative free cash flow to quite positive. So what occurs during that year? That's, I mean, it's a mass production. So it's getting the batteries into vehicles. And so, as you might expect, uh, that's really when the, the revenues uh, really begin to, to, to grow rather dramatically. So again, back to kind of Morgan's question, how are we going to be able to and how are your investors going to be able to measure your progress effectively to understand whether that is going to be the crucial year that it clearly is, at least in terms of your projections? Yeah, well, we're going to be pretty transparent about it. Um, but again, it is all about us getting through that uh, uh, vehicle qualification process. So we'll be producing our, our uh, cells uh, at full scale early next year. Um, and then we'll be essentially validating performance uh, and then eventually validating performance on cells coming off a of Gigafactory. So that'll all be very much in the public domain. So how should we think about the competitive landscape? I mean, the most direct publicly traded comparable uh, that is cited right now is QuantumScape. Is that, is that your chief rival or do you see yourself as disrupting and competing with other types of EV technologies as well? Well, first of all, we're really the only true 100% solid state battery play. So, you know, again, when we, when we think about rivals, we tend to think about fairly entrenched incumbents, by and large, large uh, Asian companies. And that really gets into what's unique about our business model, because on the one hand, while those might be competitors, those are also customers. And when I, when I say customers, I mean specifically to um, our long-term business model, which is to be the industry leader in solid electrolyte materials. So we tend to view our business model as having multiple shots on goal. One for our cell product, which of course we are delivering to both Ford and BMW, but then on the other mm -hmm. hand to our electrolyte product. And frankly speaking, we're going to endeavor to get that into the entire addressable market. Okay, Doug Campbell, thanks for joining us. Congrats thanks. again on the closing of this deal. Stock's up about 7% Thanks for having right me. Now.